Yeah, go ahead and put your finger in that pig's anus. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome to Karma Incarnation 1. Uh, it's basically a story-based point and click game, which is uh, not my favorite genre on the PC. It also came out as a mobile title, which probably explains the point and clickiness. Uh, but I would really like some keyboard support. I'll just go ahead and throw that out up front. Uh, there's a big bad moon, and uh, big bad monsters came from space and took over the earth, and the moon told this little, like, light spirit thing to go help them out. So, um, now the spirit is basically just going around questioning these weird creatures on where its lady love or gender neutral love, I guess, might have gone. And he's like, I don't know where, where she went, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat them. Eat them! Do it! Do it! Good! Ah. Uh, and now something interesting happens. You're able to uh, evolve your creature, which I assume comes into the story at some points or others. Um, there we've got a nice little spike. We're going to keep our corpses in the top bar there. That's going to be super nice. And then I'm going to say, okay, can we go on? Oh, wait. No, we can't. The hand is scared to grab me because I have a, a pointy spike on my head. So, okay. You come back to life, little creature. I just plant you like that. Hooray! And my spike is gone. So, we'll continue onwards. It's a really interesting game. Uh, quite an interesting art style as well. I rather like it. It's uh, somewhat tribal, which I find pretty interesting. And here we have what looks like a pig's anus. So yeah, go ahead and put your finger in that pig's anus. Or just stick your, your face in there. Uh, a cage has dropped, so let's try and eat it. I guess that's what we do with everything. Just eat everything! Hooray! And is that going to give me some sort of power? I guess so. I guess it will uh, all come to use at some point or another. Um, point and click games like this, puzzle games, don't necessarily attract me. I didn't realize what sort of uh, game it was when I agreed to do it, but that's relatively fine as well. Hello, I have a cage now. Does that change anything for you? Okay, well, I'm just going to eat you again then. How's that? We'll see if the cage does something different now. There are some paintings in the background, so I wonder if that has something to do with uh, anything. Oh, there we go. Uh, I got a big old spike, and hopefully I could uh, put the cage on it and get pulled back in there and poke the pig's anus with the spike, and then we'll, we'll be able to, to get on our way, right? Yeah, that's nice. Here, I roll up my spike. Just as I suspected. So this is uh, the first puzzle in the game. It's relatively easy to figure out, thankfully. Um, so yeah, we'll get rid of our spike there. And go ahead and poke this. Right? Yeah! Get the fuck out of here! Alright. And so now we lost our spike. But we found some friends! Who are going to apparently uh, put us in the electric chair or something like that. Oh. What is all this? What am I supposed to do with this here? Am I supposed to remake that shape? I suppose. Okay, give me a hint. Ooh! Okay. I guess I am supposed to be remaking that shape. So, um... Let me do that. Close the eyes, open the eyes. That's relatively interesting, isn't it? There we go. Kind of figuring this out a little more now. Come on. You're almost there. Hey! So now make the, the lady. And a circle first, I guess. Circle doesn't do anything, so we'll go around one more time. Boom! Making a star. <laughs> I think this would be a lot more engaging as a, a mobile game, as I stated before. But it's relatively decent here. And there's my... My friend! Hello, friend! Are you gonna help me get through this cavern? That'd be quite helpful. I got some questions for you. Here's a question mark. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta, you gotta push the things in the bunghole, and then a, a triangle will come. 
Okay, great. Let's do that then. Is this the bunghole down here? Do I pull this? Oh. Oh my god! Hello, everyone! Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> so there's the thing she was talking about. So go ahead, push that in. And push the other one. I'm not sure exactly what's supposed to be happening. These things seem connected. Just a little bit. So we'll see if I can't, uh... Hmm. Okay, give me another hint. It's time-based. Okay. One, two... Go from the side? Is that what I am to infer? From the side. How's that? I'm not doing it fast enough. Gotta go faster. Gotta go fast. I wanna go fast. Um... Jesus. This is a strange one. Oh, I did push the ones on the side out. How did I do that? Oh, these puzzle games. Not as straightforward a puzzle game as I uh, do like. It kind of reminds me of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, but that's only because of the genre, <laughs> not really anything else. It is a little bit creepy, but uh, not as creepy as I would like, to be quite honest. Oh, good. I'm doing things now. Alright. Are we cool? We got it? Come on! Push the little nipplies. There we go. Not exactly sure how uh, how that happened. <laughs> or what my, my logic process was for that. My process was uh, just keep pushing buttons. So, now we got another little friend. Can I eat you? Do you know anything, or am I just gonna eat ya? Yep, I'm just gonna eat ya. I'm -a gonna eat ya! Do I get like a new power evolution? Something? No, I guess not. Hmm. How about this? Okay. Just hit me in the face with a thing. That's, that's always nice. <laughs> and here's a, a log of poop. A stalactite. Oh, I got another, another little guy. Fell off the poop log. Oh, and this rope seems to be stuck, so I'll go over here. You're basically just following the uh, the arrows or the bubbles as they pop up. So I'll spit my little dude in there. Now you're born! Congratulations! Can you help me out? Oh yeah, you can help me out real good, boy. Let me get this thing over here. That's what I need. How is he carrying this big fat fuck? This big fat fuck was actually uh, possessed by the little light spirit I was talking about earlier. I hope at some point we get a chance to see him again. Maybe we'll evolve into another creature. Another incarnation? Or maybe we'll have to wait for Karma Incarnation 2. Oh my god! He totally avoided my massive tongue. How did you do that? Oh. So I spit on him. Great. There's the... the... the what is it? The shape? <laughs> the shape that that lady was talking about. Good, so now we got this. It says to press spacebar. Oh! What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> okay. So, that's telling me to push some things. Can I go over here now? Yeah, I wanna go over here. Hey. Hey, buddy. Would you give me a lift? I need to go to the top of this tunnel. Alright. You guys are so awesome! Help me out! I really like when you help me out! I can see the sun again! Oh, this lady's telling me to use the... the whatnot? Is that what you want me to say? Oh, there's the monster that ate everything. He's evil! You need to get all these shapes and put them back! Alright. I could probably handle that, maybe. Are there only three, or are there more? Are you lying to me right now? Okay. Those shapes appeared on the top bar, so I guess there are only three. Probably not gonna get them in such a short episode. Basically only here to demonstrate what the game's all about. Oh. Use your vision in order to see the door. Okay, where's the door? Drop this in my eyes. Oh! I'm tripping balls, dude! 
Uh, this makes me like the game a bit more. All right. <laughs> There's some uh, unintentional drug references. Hooray! That's always nice. Hey, you need to give a, a lift to your fat friend. Look, it's the door! The door, I can see my future! All right. That was relatively weird. <laughs> and I think that's uh, somewhat of a theme for this game. It's really got quite a bit of personality, and the personality is extremely quirky. I think that's exhibited well through the art style and the music. I really do uh, enjoy what is offered here, despite the, the relatively easy way of getting through the game. You know, there's clues for basically everything you have to do. If you don't want to take the clues, I guess that's completely up to you. But you're basically just clicking around, following bubbles. And he doesn't know what to do with this thing, so... I'm gonna go over here. Hey, can I go over here? Okay, now he's gone. Oh wait, we can go over there. Go ahead, do it. Leave this place behind. Oh my god. How about... Like this. Where you going, bros? Where you going, space jellyfish? Space jellyfish! Well, I thought there was something to click there for a moment. How about this? If I use it with my trippy vision, you still don't know what to do? Yeah, me either. Oh, and I guess that does the same thing as spacebar. So there is some keyboard support, uh, but not a lot. <laughs> not very much at all. Whoa, I can't go that way quite yet. Does it blow the jellyfish back? Oh, snap! Oh my god! I'm so sorry this happened. I killed that eyeball. That's so sad. Can I... can I go up there? Can I grab that thing that killed you? Um. <laughs> really interesting. I think this is gonna plug into that box over there. And maybe I'll meet like a little Jack in the Box. And then I could eat him as well, right? Is that what I'm to infer here? Now I'm tripping balls. <laughs> what the fuck? I opened Pandora's box. <laughs> His expression is about the same as mine right now. Just mouth wide open. What the fuck? What the fuck? Let's uh try and talk to this thing, I guess. Whoa! I want to be inside you, bro. Can I go inside you? Sweet. Please tell me, great master, where is my friend and lover and companion? Oh. Oh my. You need to get the people with the eye lasers. And then they're gonna create a, another little dot that you can possess. Okay, I want to possess that dot. Oh no, he's telling me how he was created. I see. And is this, like, a good guy or a bad guy? Because the bad guys are, like, uh, black blobs, just like most of the stuff that I see. I've become a black blob as well. Uh, oh, I gotta use my vision, and then I gotta match up the symbols. Alright, no problem there. I can do that. Let me see. Let me see my visions. I'm having a vision. I'm having a vision. Oh, come on. Oh, I guess I did match it up. Okay. <laughs> I wanted it to be on the top. My OCD was kicking in. I was like, why is it crooked? What the fuck is this? Oh. I got hit by a, a jelly thing. Should I eat this? Yep, that's what we do with basically everything. If you don't know what it is, just fucking eat it. It's real nice. So now I've got to do it again, I suppose. Match up another thing. Um. Um. Um, I'm supposing that it goes this way. Oh, the fish. We can do the fish. How's that? And now the uh, the fish light bulb berry thing lighting up. Oh, and we're we're filling up with water. Holy shit! That's probably not good. I don't know if you can die in this game. I haven't died yet. H Hello? Did somebody help me here? Okay. It drained all the water out. That's quite nice. Hello, Mr. Fish. Just eat him. Don't even ask him a question. I don't ask fishes questions either. That's just fine. We're collecting a bunch of shit that I'm sure I'll need for later. 
So there's like the plant thing and the lightning thing now. So I guess the plant is gonna go on this side. And this goes at the bottom. Is that correct? No, apparently not. How about this? How about the other? Nope, nope, we're not making any headway. There it is. That, that's it, right? I got it. Hello? D did I get it? Okay, maybe I'll just try this other... other thing. The snowflake looking one. And see what happens. That's not doing anything either. Why? Why not? Alright, where's the top of this sun? Maybe I could do that. There's one and two. Alright! So the snowflake and shit don't do anything because there are no bubbles representing that, I suppose. You gotta follow the bubbles. Figure out what, what doing. Oh my god. Well, I guess the puzzle's over. Goodbye, everyone! I'll see you later, planet. Uh, whatever this is. <laughs> I think it's how Venus would look if, uh, you took all the poisonous gas clouds away. Creatures could survive under the immense pressure. Wow, look at me, I'm flying! We're going over here! With, uh, their representation of Luke Skywalker. See, he's got, like, a little candy cane lightsaber or something like that. Oh, maybe he's blind. Yeah, look at his one non-functioning eye. I can't see nothing. And the song is like, Boom, pop that kitty kitty. Boom, pop that kitty kitty. Boom, pop that pussy girl. <laughs> That's good for a children's game. I want my five-year-old daughter to sing Pop That Kitty, and I'll be like, what the fuck? What What have you been playing? And she's like, it's a game in your Steam library, and I'm like, don't ever go in my Steam library. Ever! <laughs> oh. Uh, so where are we going, blind guy? Do you, do you know anything? Or... Oh my god. We're gonna have a fight in the spaceship, and then we're gonna break a hole in it and get sucked out the fucking porthole. That's what you call a window. It's called a porthole because a spaceship is technically a ship. Isn't that interesting? We're learning more stuff every day. That's so nice. Thank you for teaching me that incarnation one. Karma incarnation one. Uh, now we've got another another possible passenger. Hello to you, man with the heavy brow ridge. Oh. You're just riding the blind person? That's not, that's not good. I can't approve of that. I'm not sure what the fuck happened. Maybe it'll show up later in the story. That's a little bit interesting. He's just like, hey, there's a blind person. Get on his shoulders. You can tell him where to go. <laughs> I really would like to see a lot more blind people with midgets telling them where to go on their shoulders. They just get tapped with a riding crop on the right or left side of their head. Go this way, go that way. It seems a little cruel, but it's for their own good, don't you know? Just like, uh, riding horses or something like that. Oh my god, dude, disco party. My selection of drugs is gonna be extremely popular here. <laughs> Hello, everyone! I've arrived! Aren't you so glad to see me? I don't want to go out there. I'm lonely, and I want to stay that way. Can, can we go somewhere else? Oh my god, what's that little pig thing? Little pig man! He's like, you gotta put all the balls in the hole, and then the big ball's gonna come, and you put that in the hole. Oh. We need to go get the, the balls from these people. Oh, more requested items, I see. And these guys are just fucking hopping on my ship and humping it and dancing on it. That, that ain't no good. Alright, I'll go over here. I'll see what's what. Hey, Bubble Man! What you doing? Go make some bubbles over here! This is really quite interesting. What am I supposed to be thinking about this? Hey! You make more bubbles? Yeah, get in the party. You have to go, because I don't want to. Keep going! Can't you see that guy wants the bubbles? Wow, what the fuck am I looking at? This is really quite interesting. The game gets more and more strange as we progress further. I just keep chasing this guy. Go, keep going. 
I need that guy's necklace, I think. Is that the thing he's talking about? Maybe. It's hard to know for sure. Get over there. Keep chasing that guy. Hey, buddy, can I borrow your necklace? Your bling's pretty cool, bro. I lost my girlfriend somewhere in this crazy party. Yeah, I do want his necklace. For the spaceship. And he's like, if you took my necklace, I want a flower in return. And I'm like, cool. I got that. I got that. Don't worry about that. We can trade these. I guess. Here, have this. Oh, you broke it. You fucking broke it. I guess I'll just eat it now. <laughs> there. Very nice, bro. Now you've got like a totally different style. I rather like that. Let's chase this bubble man even further. Hey, now get out of the party. This is my party. I'm starting to enjoy it just a little bit. Can I bite this thing? Bite the eyeball? What is this eyeball tree? Oh, juked. I got juked, bro. All right, uh, didn't I tell you to leave? Get on out of here. Nobody wants to see you here. He's not going anywhere. He doesn't understand me. He's like, what's that language you're speaking? And I'm like, I'm not speaking the language, I'm just roaring. Well, I don't know what to do with the eyeball tree. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. How about that? Can I can I go away now? That would be a really nice thing for me. I'll go back to my spaceship. I'm going home. Everybody, your party's been uh, recently decently fantastic. Oh, recently fantastic too. It was probably fantastic before, but I only just arrived here. Can't you see? Let's put this in. All right, plug it in, plug it in. Does it work? Can we, can we take off more places now? Can we go see more of the universe? I guess not. I need to go get my little guy on top of that tree. Okay. Come along. Come along, fellow. Um, I need to scroll the screen, please. Thank you so much. A little bit difficult. Alright, go over here. Is this bubble monster going to help me get to the top? Oh, he's got soap in his eyes so he can't see me uh, jumping up to grab him. Ha ha! That's a puzzle that I figured out without knowing I figured it out. What do I do now? Hello? Shake this? Shake this thing? Shake your booty? Yeah, give me another hint. Oh! Dragging! A boosh! Oh, we didn't quite make it. Or maybe we did. Hey, uh, can I come in here? How's it going? Mumbo Jumbo? Banjo Kazooie reference. What, what? <laughs> Whoa! He's talking about my spaceship. And he said the monster grabbed the, the pearl and fed it to a, a fish. And then he went to the bar and started drinking everybody's drinks. And he killed the patrons. And then he left in the spaceship again. And everybody was super sad. Except Mumbo Jumbo because he found the thing inside the fish. And then he gave it to that guy as a necklace, right? Oh no. He's like, I can give it to you. It's still here. Oh, he wants a golden hand. Where am I supposed to get that? I don't have anything like that. Fart. Are you gonna tell me the same thing again? Can I just have it? Can I have the thing because it'll make me really happy? Uh, no. You need to give me the golden hand. I require the golden claw. It was in my stash and then it was stolen. Okay. That's fine. I'll go look for that for you. Whoa, bro. How's, how's that working? Mmm. Got an achievement for clicking that. <laughs> That's rather nice. Let's tumble down this hill. Hey! Hey, everybody! I'm back at the party! Alright! We're having a real nice time. Except for the, the scrolling, which is not seeming to happen. If you're too low on the screen, 
uh, then you won't be able to scroll the screen along. But you need your mouse cursor to be along the ground in order to move. So that's a little interesting. The controls still need some fleshing out, in my opinion, but it's a relatively interesting game. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I might consider sitting down to finish it one of these days. Although, yeah, point and clicks are not necessarily my favorite. Although this one is weird enough that it has kind of captured me in a way in just a few minutes. So, good job, Karma Incarnation 1. I do uh, appreciate being sent the key so I could give my thoughts on it. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. That is always appreciated. It helps the channel to get out there. And if you want to see some more of Karma, please let me know because I would be happy to... Uh, play it even further, figure out what's going on, uh, although I'll probably be playing in my spare time privately, and uh, yeah, I'll go back, open up the save state, and won't get lost as much, so that'll be nice for you, we'll enjoy a trippy dance party, <laughs> and I hope that you guys will join us for the next time, thank you so much, as always, you guys are unique and special and awesome, and I enjoy every single one of you, so I'll see you in the next one, friends, and until then... Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.